हे हाय एंड वेलकम बैक नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस वीडियो व्हिच इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू लेआउट एडिटर पार्ट टू सो नाउ लेट मी टेल यू व्हाट यू विल लर्न इन दिस वीडियो सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी एक्चुअली कवर्ड सम ऑफ द टूल्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर सम मोर टूल्स नाउ व्हाट आर दोज टूल्स लेट मी शो यू दैट नाउ सो द फर्स्ट टूल इज डिलीट देन द नेक्स्ट वन इज राउट then rip up then wire and then hole okay so these are basically the tools that we are going to cover in this video so now let's start with this video now let's see what happens when i try to delete a particular component so i select this option i will select this option and i will click on this plus icon and i will left click of my mouse now you can see can't back annotate this operation please do this in schematic okay so it actually means you can't delete the component from the layout editor if you want to delete the component then you have to do that in the schematic editor for example let's say if i have to delete this resistor then uh, a resistor r1 then i can't delete that in the layout editor i have to do that in the schematic editor okay so i will just delete this component and you can see uh, it will actually automatically disappear from the layout editor okay so i will just undo now all right so uh, after that now i will maximize this one and then the next option is route air wire so you can see here these wires that you see in yellow color they are actually called as air wire okay so whenever you have to do the connection or whenever you have to lay the tracks on the layout at that time we actually use this option layout uh, route air wire so i will select this one and after that uh, for example if i have to uh, you know uh create uh, the connection between this pin and this pin of this resistor then what i will do i will i will left click of my mouse here and right now we are actually on the bottom layer okay so we are on the bottom layer but this particular component that you see r1 it's actually on the top layer so whenever you have to change the layer what you have to do you have to uh, first of all i will left click here so right now we are on the bottom layer now i have to change the layer so i will uh click here you can see there are option here top layer and bottom layer so i will select the top layer and i will place this wire and after that uh i will go ahead and i will do the connection i will click the left click of mouse okay so that's how basically uh we we change the layer and we lay the track if the component is on the bottom layer now what is this this is actually called as wire this is actually making the connection of this track from the bottom layer to top layer okay and uh, i will show you how exactly this look like on the manufacturing or um, or on the pcb so we did a connection so i think uh, it's not yet updated uh, here so it will be updated in a moment so just a second um uh, let me let me move this resistor and let's see whether the change happens or not so let's check one more time and uh, yeah you can see so this is basically the track uh, this is a uh, ic which is on the bottom layer then this track is actually coming like this and then from here this track is actually connected to this hole we call this hole or this uh, as a wire okay so it's going to make the connection from the bottom layer then to the top layer okay so i will select the top layer here and you can see on the top layer this connection is actually connected to this resistor r1 okay so that's how basically we change the layer and uh, whenever we have to do the connection from bottom layer to top layer first of all i will select this route air wire then i will click the left click of mouse okay so right now we are on the bottom layer now i will lay the track so whatever way i want to lay the track i will do that and uh, for example if i have to do the connection here again uh, i will i will lay the track at this point okay so let's let's do it wherever i want and after that uh, i will change the layer i will go to top layer i will place the wire here this is actually called as wire i already discussed and i will left click of mouse and now we are on the top layer and again i will play i will press the left click of mouse okay and this is how basically we did the connection and i can show you with the help of this show option so you can see uh, there is a connection from this pin like this from the bottom layer then on the top layer and then to this particular resistor again let's see in this manufacturing window so right now we are on the top layer okay this resistor is r2 here and from here the connection is going like this through this uh, wire uh, through this wire on the bottom layer and on bottom layer 
you can see it's actually connected to this particular uh, IC through this wire. Then the track is coming like this and then this is connected to this particular pin of this IC. Okay. So that's how basically we do the connections with the help of route air wire option. Okay. And in case uh, if uh, uh, both the components that you want to connect, uh, if they are on the bottom layer, then the straight away the connection is going to be like this. So I will select the bottom layer first. And after that, I will select this option. Then I will left click of mouse. So I will lay the track. Okay. And after that, I will do the connection. Okay. So that's how basically the connection uh, we do on the bottom layer. Okay. In the same way, we'll do it on the top layer. All right. And now let's say that you want to change. You are not happy with this connection or you are not happy with the way this particular track you have connected. In that case, uh, you will select this option, which is rip up. So with the help of this option, you can actually uh, rip up the track. Okay. So I will left click on that uh, on that track. And you can see uh, that track is now ripped up. So you can see that track is now ripped up. And if I show you the manufacturing window, then you can see it's not available. Okay. That track is not available on the top layer. Okay. Or sorry, on the bottom layer. Okay. So that's how basically we rip up the track with the help of this option, which is rip up. In the same way, in order to rip up the track, you can actually use the delete option. So if I, uh, if I select this delete option, and if I click the left click of mouse on this track, then you can see again with the help of this delete option, we can actually rip up the track. Okay. But this option rip up option is actually more appropriate. And I generally use this particular option. Then uh, these two options are actually not that important at this moment. So let's uh, skip these two options fan out and auto router. After that, the next option is via option. And I have already discussed about this option. So let's select this option. And uh, if I, if you want to place the wire on the PCB, uh, wherever you want, so you can just left click of mouse and then that particular wire will be placed on the PCB. Okay. So if I have to place some more wires, then I can do that. Okay. So the purpose of these wires are actually, you know, when we use them, for example, whenever you have to, you know, do the connection between the two layers. Okay. In that case, we actually use the wire. So. Uh, wire is actually going to make the connection between the two layers. So for example, uh, this is the top layer. Okay. Uh, sorry, this is the bottom layer because here the layer is bottom. And if I select the top layer, then right now we are on the top layer. So this wire is actually going to make the connection between the bottom layer and top layer. Okay. But at this moment, the connection is not made. Okay. Because this is simple wire. Okay. It's not connected to, uh, to the layers. Okay. So if I show you in this manufacturing window, then it will be clear. So you can see this is basically a copper and it's not connected anywhere on the bottom layer. In the same way, uh, you can see, uh, this is basically the copper. Uh, this is basically the copper and it is, it is not connected, uh, anywhere on the top layer. Okay. So these wires that we have placed on, uh, on the layout editor, they are actually not many making the connection between the top layer and bottom layer at this moment. Okay. But, uh, when we pour the plane or when we create the plane on the PCB and, uh, uh when we use the wire at that time, the connections will be made. But at this moment, uh, there is no plane on this layout editor. So, uh, we can't actually use the wire and these wires are actually unnecessary. Now, what is plane? Uh, it will be clear to you in a moment. Okay. So just wait for a moment. Uh, you will get that also. Okay. So after that, the next option is hole. So, you know, when we create the PCB, uh, the PCB is going to have some mounting holes. Okay. You are going to mount this PCB in the enclosure. So there will be some screws on the PCB, right? In order to mount that PCB in the enclosure. So at that time, we actually use this option, which is hole option so that we can, you know, create the hole in the PCB and then we can mount that PCB on the, on the enclosure. Okay. So I will just left click and that hole will be placed on the layout editor. And after that, I will click on escape. Now let me show you how exactly this hole look like on the uh, manufacturing window. So you can see this is how basically the hole is. It's a simple hole. Okay. Nothing else. Okay. And you can also increase the dimension of this hole. Uh, you just have to right click and then you have to click on properties, left click of mouse. Um, and after that, from here, you can change the uh, diameter of the drill. So let me increase it to 39. 
and after that if i click on apply and then click on okay then you can see the size of hole is now increased okay so based on the screw that you are using uh, based on that you can actually increase or decrease the width or the diameter of this particular hole okay so i hope that this point is now clear to you so i will close this one so we are done with the last tool of this video and i hope that every single thing that we discussed in this particular video is now clear to you and if you still have any kind of doubt regarding the tools that we discuss then definitely you can let me know okay all right so that's what i wanted to tell in this video now i will see you in the next video which is about introduction to layout editor part 3